Welcome to another episode of Void City Reviews. I am Toast. I am Dan. And we are looking at a set of four. These are the Ninja Turtles from the Mutant Mayhem movie. I love the animation style. It's not exactly the same, but it looks similar-ish to Spider-Verse. And it's kind of that same sort of looking style where it's almost like computer animated, but also stop motion looking, Yeah, which I like. I'm, I'm digging everything about this movie. I have not, I've seen different toys. I haven't seen these in the store. You grabbed these recently. I found these at Walmart. They had a whole end cap that was just two sides and the whole end that were just nothing but different turtles. I feel like we should open them. Oh, I think they're gonna get opened uh, presently. Okay. Oh yes. Let's do it. All right, and we are back, and they are all opened up now. First impressions? There were a lot of twisty ties holding these guys into those packages. Except for one. Yeah, like, like I, I cut, had like I nothing. cut a bunch off of him, and he, he was just one. So yeah. These guys all had like four each, plus a big one around their waist, it's and a, ones on their accessories. It's a little weird. Oh. Um, that's getting, why he's the leader. Getting them to stand... A little challenging. They're a little back heavy, and their feet only... Right. How, what would you say? They only swivel. swivel. They don't, they're not on a ball peg, they're just on a straight up swivel. So there's no up and down yeah. to help. <clears throat> which so there's a lot of using the ideal. knees and just... Yeah. Yeah, trying to... It's not ideal. Leaning position forward just right. Times. Donatello, you might end up doing the trick where you use his bow staff in the back of his belt down a little bit to be like a tripod, tripod for him he can lean on it a bit very nice but they do all stand it just takes a little bit how much were these a piece i believe these were ten dollars each yes for ten bucks i'm not yes, gonna complain they were, they were like ten bucks each yep um ten bucks they've got sort of uh knees and elbows single jointed the arms get out the they heads. remind me of head swivel these kind of remind me of the Lennard Alien and Predator figures we reviewed a while back as far as the articulation. It's, it's a lot simpler. Um, I will say that those toys actually had a bit better feet because they were actually on balls, a lot yeah. of them, and not just on a swivel. So it was easier to stand them up. Um, but these kind of remind me of that same sort of like type of toy. If you're, if you're thinking quality, if you've got those, you kind of know a little bit what you're looking at with these. I like that, like other turtle toys, they're all different colors. As far as like their skin tones, that's kind of cool. All different sizes, all different shapes. They're not like some turtle toys, like uh, the recent NECA set where it looks like they're old school versions where it's literally four of the same figure. Yes. Just with different weapons. Now, that is what they looked like back then, so it's, it's accurate, but at the same time, it is, you're it's, getting the same action figure four times. It's not my preferred. Correct. I prefer yeah. them to be a little different. And in that firm, I, I prefer them as, as posters that I used to win at the carnival as a little kid by throwing darts at balloons on a board. It was either that or you got that little white plate with some band that you were too young to listen to, like Guns N' Roses <laughs> or something on it. <sighs> too young to listen to or too smart to listen to? Oh. Yeah. Ooh. Wow. Every rose has its thorn. Yeah. Damn it. <laughs> I had it and then I moved it and yeah that looks a bit funky so those are some huge chains on the back of Michelangelo there so it makes putting his nunchucks are you supposed to put one handle in one side and then the other one like I don't know so they overlap each other but they're angled yeah that's well yeah so it'll take some finagling with those humongous chains they probably should be upside down actually but then he just has giant chains hanging behind him but it might act as another tripod to keep so, him standing up. One is visible. One's in his hand. The other one's stowed. Oh, he's going to fall down. Yeah, for sure now. He's kind of got a head shaped like a garbanzo bean a little bit. Or a watermelon. Like he, he looks... 
I especially like the tiny turtles. These things, non-articulated, but they look great. Yep, just little little bitty turtle guys. They have a, a peg hole in the bottom of them. I'm not really quite sure what that's for. They right. don't attach to the turtles, and they shouldn't. With a pretty tiny amount of paint, you could do the shell and maybe the, the underside. Oh, yeah. Differentiate them a little bit more, paint their shell, yeah. Paint them up real nice. Paint their eyes. But usually when the turtles come with itty bitty turtles, they're never quite painted. Yeah. I'm assuming there's pegs on these because if they ever do like they did with the old school toys, there's probably some set you'll be able to get where they attach to the set and you spill ooze on them and it spins around and the turtle toy comes out or something. And I don't, I'm, I'm thinking like an 80s toy designer here, but that's how it would have worked. You would have pulled the switch and the door would, would have spun and the turtle would be mutated. Uh. Yeah. That's accurate. Yeah. Um, for like, ten bucks, I yeah. can't complain much. I really like the weapons rack too. It's that reusable. Comes with stuff that isn't weapons. This one has a pizza slice. It's got microphone nunchucks, which I find interesting, and broken ooze. Let's see. Yeah, this one also comes with broken ooze, a ninja star, a pizza slice, some. What are these guys called? Kunai. Kunai. Yeah, a little kunai, and then just a knife on the side. He doesn't really come with. Anything else? It's weird that this ooze has like a handle on it. It's almost like it's a coffee cup. Like I don't know if he's gonna hold it like a mug. Maybe the ooze hmm. canister got a new design this time around. He's also got some unbroken ooze. Yes, uh, Donatello. Donatello comes with an unbroken one. Everyone else comes with a broken one. Uh, Donatello also comes with a giant staff nunchuck thing. I don't know the name of that weapon, but it's I the three sticks the attached by stuff. Yeah. Oh yeah, he's got his throwing guy there. Donatello's got a staff with a blade on it. The cool thing is, is after you punch out all these shapes and then get the little uh, stem pieces off of there, it still stands up and you can hang the weapons back on the rack. So that's pretty nice. Raphael is the same. He's got a piece of pizza on the side. He's got another knife over there. He's got these big grabby stick side things and some more ninja stars. I have no idea what the name of those are. I call them ouchy sticks. <clears throat> And, sure. uh, yeah. So he comes with all those. And that's pretty cool. You can put his size. He's also got the regular size. That you can put those right in his belt. Donatello's bow staff goes in his back. He also comes with a pair of headphones. He has glasses, which it looks like you can take on or off. There's pegs on the side of his head, so they slide in there. And he also has a fanny pack around his waist that looks like you can take on or off if you really wanted to. It is slotted into the back of his belt back here, but I'm sure that's not glued in very tight. You could probably just pull it off if you wanted, and there's like a little cell phone sticking out of the front. That's just a prop. It's just stuck in there. That's fine. Leo's got his swords. It's pretty nice. Some turtles figures come with belts that don't hold their weapons for whatever reason. These ones can. So clearly whoever invented these paid attention. What is that terrible noise? If you can hear that i apologize <sighs> water awesome. damn water yeah I, don't, I think they're pretty cool i wasn't too keen i'm generally not impressed by playmates and ninja turtles but then you said 10 bucks and yeah my whole outlook changed they're usually ten dollars uh the this level of the turtles is just the basic regular out of the regular line of figures this isn't like the ones they have ones where they come on skateboards like they always do they have a four pack of turtles in disguise where they're in like costumes already they have like the astronaut turtle and the star trek turtle and like the cowboy turtle like already huh. they have a set of these things and like really we're getting ahead of ourselves there yeah a bit we're right. already on like the series four reuse of mold like let's give them costumes now like universal monsters turtles already like come on for 10 bucks i find them impressive i think yeah. they'll go well for kids oh yeah I think um, kids will love these things. They're very colorful, and there's a ton of different characters. So yeah. like there's there's everybody. You could get everyone you want. Splinter, Bebop, Rocksteady, Superfly, Leatherhead. And I think there's wave? even more. I think there's even more than what's shown on that box. Because like, I swear to God, there coming? was more at the store. There should be. Oh. Like, one on Cap had the regular figures. One had the big deluxe ones. Another one had, like, saw there's kind of special ones. I don't know what was special about them because I didn't care. I just wanted these four. I do that when I, I collect the Ninja Turtles, and I've got four of basically every major set there's ever been. I'm only missing a few. 
I don't collect any of the other characters. I don't care. I love turtles, but I don't care about those other characters enough to collect them. I just want each set of brothers. And I have one set where there's five. Because they've only ever made one set where there's five. I didn't want the fifth, but I had to. Because you got to complete it. Now, if they made Jenica, I'd be all over that. But that means they'd have to make all the other four, which they kind of just did. So maybe we'll get Jenica at some point. Mm. We'll see. Anyways, yeah. No, I really like these. I think they're great. Yeah. For 10 bucks. Uh, I got them at Walmart. You might be able to get them other places as well. I'm sure they'll pop up. I want to, and I'm not going to. These aren't my toys. I'm not planning to buy these. But I do want to just hit the shells with some dull coat and then a wash. Yeah. They are a bit shiny in some places, but... That's to be expected for the ten dollar, the ten dollar toys. The front is matte finished. I don't know. It, they are impressive. Yeah, it's just I think the customizer in me is like, oh, what would I do next? All oh, right. Yeah, we could paint the hell out of these things. We could put the spots on them, a little paint all the accessories. Shading, right. Oh my god. <sighs> but these nuts. are these are fun toys. They have personality. Yeah. Awesome. Well, let us know what you guys think of these guys. Let us know if you think they're pretty cool like we do, or if you're going to skip them, or, you know, whatever. I think they're going to look great on the shelf with all my other millions of Ninja Turtles that I'll start showing to you guys someday. Yeah, that's uh, really all I have to say about that. Like and subscribe as always. Thank you for watching. I am Dan. Toast. And this has been Void City Reviews, reviewing some Ninja Turtles and all of their fun turtle-filled mayhem. We will see you next time.